as you guys can see in the clip, uh, the engineer is installing a hole into my wall here. He's just drilling a big hole into my wall. And it took him about four or five minutes to get through. Um, he eventually got through. This is the bit I didn't really like because he was leaning on my sofa there. But at the end of the day, he's there to do the job and he done a good job. Very nice engineer. Very friendly guy. And yeah, so he's putting a hole through the wall and everything. See the dust everywhere. And in a minute, he'll put the cabling through the hole. It should come up any minute now. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's took his time to puncture the hole. And I've looped this clip uh, around a couple times in this video. Uh, so you can see what happens during your Sky TV installation. And there's the wheel. Uh, that this is what has all the satellite cable in. I'm talking about this bit here where he's actually outside. He's threaded the cable through. And this actually starts moving, as you can see. He just pulls it through, and that actually scared the crap out of me there. It's because I'm waving the camera around like mad. Um, yeah, so he pulls the cable through on the other side, and that's, it's just getting the correct length and everything. So when they come to install your sky, this is pretty much what happens. Talking about what's happening right now, he's just drilled a hole, as you saw. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what happens there. Uh, now he's actually just putting up the satellite dish in the garden. He's just drilling a hole, putting the dish in the garden. Uh, as you can see there, and I was going to go out and record this, but he had a safety harness on there, and plus I thought he had to go on the roof at first, but clearly he didn't. He had he had it at arm's length, and I've had no problems with signalling at all. A very good engineer. Uh, that, that is the Sky Q box, as you can see there. Uh, so it's the one terabyte, as it says there, Sky Q one terabyte, very small box. Um, it comes in a similar size box as the Xbox One console does, Xbox One S, shall I say. And here I'm just going around monitoring the job and things like this to make sure he's doing his job properly and like I'm satisfied with it. He hasn't tidied up the hole there yet. I'm pointing out where the box is going to go because at this time he, I think he was putting the dish up still. And excuse the mess around the floor. You can see my Corsair case there and everything like that. But that's the how it pretty much how they install your Sky. So if anyone wants Sky TV and you're not wondering and you're wondering how they install it, that is pretty much how they do it. So now I'm going over the Sky Q box, the difference of it and everything, and I'm pointing out if it's black at the bottom, it means it's one terabyte. And apparently, if it's the silver one, it means it's two terabytes. Now, the box itself, I'm going to go through the menu and everything here. And uh, you, as you can see, it's a different menu to what you normally get with Sky. And at the top of the screen, you're in a few minutes, it might have just popped up there. I'm not too sure. There's a notification that keeps saying it wasn't connected to the internet. That's just my modem playing up at the time. So as you can see, as you're going through, uh, you can see it's not loading things up on the right hand side properly because of this. But on the left hand side, you can still watch live TV whilst going through the menu, settings and stuff like this, which I thought was pretty cool. As well, it shows you all your channels there and it actually puts HD first, which is pretty awesome, I think. Well, they put the HD channels first now itself the standard definition ones and I'm just going through the channels here uh, just gonna select some stuff I'll probably I think I clicked Sky Sports HD which I don't have so I don't know why I clicked it uh, but I do have the sports package just not the HD sports uh, as you can see the Sky Movies there he tried selling me Sky Movies but I said no that's right, I've already got now TV for that um, and he was like okay cool no problem and just going through the menu and everything now the remote control is very light so if you have a disability like me uh, or you have arthritis um, I would say get this remote for Sky because um, the remote control is very very light now I'm just going through these new premieres and 
um, movies they've got on here. It has a thing where you can buy a DVD and you get a digital copy and an actual physical copy, which is pretty cool. But I'm not going to use it. I prefer to go on Amazon or HMV uh, for my DVDs. And there you go. You can see my router flashing green there because uh, it's having problems connecting to the Skybox. Uh, to the Skybox, yeah, because uh, it's Virgin Media, and he did say Virgin Media boxes problem sometimes have uh, problems with, with skyboxes as well which is sort of annoying so as you can see I'm just point, just trying to move around with the remote and everything like that and the engineer was so friendly guys he is the best engineer I've ever had and I'm just going to be talking about the box here for a few seconds now pulling some stuff out there's a green LED there that will go green if you put boxes on it goes amber if your box is on sleep mode and it goes red if it's off and I should hope I'm just saying that's where the box is going to go in that empty space there I wasn't happy with it there he didn't pull it where I wanted it because I told him not to because I wanted to sort all those cables out myself and as you can see on the right there my cable clip actually broke as he was installing it that's why I said oh, don't worry we'll sort it out when you've gone uh and he was all right with that there, that little white thing poking out that is your sky viewing card and there's my now tv box just on top of it uh, i think i do put the torch on now there you go you can see the power port and the satellite ports i do turn this box out my wife came out and unplugged everything and switched it around for me so you should see it there you go uh it's a you've got your power there your satellite inputs there and uh, that purple thing is your HDMI there's two USBs I don't know what the USBs do uh, it's got a these two things are covered up one is your Ethernet port I think that's the one I pull off uh, it's this one here I'm pulling off now so you can have wired or wireless it has wireless as well which is cool uh, the other one I really don't know what that is so if you want to pause the video and read it I don't know but you've got your HDMI and your USB and your optical but my uh, sound goes through HDMI into my surround sound uh, one thing to note if your box is the same as mine the black bezel at the bottom not silver and if it's one terabyte it's not 4k um, the engineer said do not get 4k sky yet uh, just pointing out some ventilation there he said don't get the 4, 4k uh, package yet because there's nothing to watch um, he said wait for 12 months all these networks channels they will start pumping out 4k content then and plus the package will be cheaper which i thought was pretty weird for an engineer to be telling me to do that <laughs> considering um it sheds some light if you're ordering sky or sky q uh, this is the sky q box you'll be getting well, i'll try and put the image or a screenshot of mine on there now if i can but um, the box is easy to use if you have a problem with your wrists. The remote is very light, uh, it's very easy to use. The record series thing, it's taken a while to get used to. I haven't had Sky in years. Um, but the fact that you can play your Spotify on YouTube for this is pretty cool. Uh, I was on YouTube on the PC and it came up with an option to play on my Skybox, which I thought was pretty neat, but I've already got the app on the TV, so I wouldn't really use it. Uh, if you haven't got a, a smart TV, then it's cool. You can play it through your Skybox, which is awesome. Uh, but that's about it for this video. There will be a part two for this video, uh, talking about the box, showing you the box. I'll unplug it, talk around, show you around it, uh, going through the settings and setting it up for the first time sort of thing, uh, which the engineer is supposed to do with you anyway, but there's been a few people saying they don't do it. Uh, but I hope this video has been helpful. It might not have been a long video or not. Uh, but I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.